the food truck business, places to park, event park. And I think this is like the fourth or fifth video in the places to park series portion of these videos. Make sure you check out all the other ones that talk about office parking and parking in, you know, military bases and construction sites and oil fields and uh, business parks and you name it, uh, food truck parks, you office parks, just talks about the strategies. And so anyway, check out all those other uh, previous videos. They're great. And you get them all, the whole full video series for free with downloadable PDFs at foreverfoodtrucks.com. Make sure you go there, check it out. Let's jump in. So event parking, what type of events, concerts, conferences, sporting events, what's the benefit? Thousands of people. There's thousands of people. What do you mean? What's the benefit? Thousands of people. Come on. LOA, not LOL, not laugh out loud. LOA law of averages. I learned the law of averages many, a million years ago. When I first, first got into professional marketing uh, and consultation and all that stuff, I learned the law of averages. What is that? That means that 10% of everyone that can use your service will use your service. Not 10% of everyone you talk to, not 10% of everyone that walks by, 10% of the people that can use your service. If you have a decent service, they will use your service. So if you pitch a hundred people that can use your service, now you may have to talk to a thousand people, but if you, out of that thousand, a hundred people can use your, your service, 10 of them will, right? So you have thousands of potential customers. And in this case, all 10,000 of them can use your service, can benefit from your service. They're all going to be hungry. Now, if you serve, you know, maybe say 5% of them are vegans. And if you're a burger joint with a non-vegan vegetarian option, then out of that 10,000, maybe only 9,500 or potential your potential customers, but 9,500, if you got 90, 950 of those customers, you couldn't even, you probably couldn't even handle it. Um, so concerts, conferences, sporting events, great. Thousands of uh, potential customers and hungry people with limited options. So end of a concert, you have, you know, 30,000 people flood out into the streets. And at, you know, if it's a concert that ran late, 10, 11 o'clock at night, there's not a lot of options. You are the option. You are. Make sure you're very brightly lit so they feel safe. Make sure you park in a place where they can stand around. So park on a curb where they can stand. You know, there's plenty of places to stand on the curb. It's convenient. They're not trying to cross a busy road to get to you. Uh, be brightly lit. Try to face them if you can. If you're on the other side of the road and you cannot face them, make sure you have some lights with signs. Uh, you know, Jane's. I always say burgers as default burger joint or a smoothie house or whatever, brightly lit, bright lights everywhere, especially if it's at nighttime. Uh, so they're, they're very safe. They feel very convenient, big smiles, great presentation. And you're going to walk, walk away with an eight, $9,000, uh, two hour period. Have quick hand carry food, concerts, conferences, sporting events, especially sporting events, especially conferences, they want to get food and maybe run back into the conference to try to network, shake a president's hand or a vice president, someone, you know, the vice president of market, someone important's hand. So, you know, give them that gyro and something that they can grab with a drink and boom, let them, let them go. Um, and just, that's a good default. You know, if you're not in the food truck park where people are coming to sit down, if you're, you're just in any place other than, you know, a destination, like they're not coming to something else like a concert and you happen to be there. They're coming to a food truck park specifically for the food trucks and to sit down. If they're not coming for that, make sure your food is just, it's quick hand carry. Um, good time to promote catering. You got thousands of people, big sign. You know, we have marketing videos. Go back and watch those marketing videos, please. It's free. It can take you from five figures to seven, eight figures, Go back and watch it. It's free. It only costs you my time <laughs> to make these videos for you. Hey, go go back and watch it. It's your own fault if you're not in six, seven figures when, you know, this stuff is available to you. But good time to promote marketing cater. And if you can capture, oh, geez, you know, my goodness. And that's, I think they go over that in the Teachable. I think I review all this stuff in the teach, Teachable. If you can capture, man, you know, capture phone numbers, emails, you know, make it part of your square where they have to enter their phone number in and whatever. And then you could text out, use like a textedly type service. But anyway, that's some advanced sales funnel type stuff. And when I say it will make you money, it will make you big, big time money. 
be fast. Of course, concert, conference, sporting event, there's intermissions, you know, lunch break during the conferences. You need to be fast. And that's a general rule of thumb. The faster you are, the more people you can see um, and the more money you can make. If you can see um, 30 people in an hour, hey, that's that's great, right? You're talking about 30 people in an hour on a average $12 ticket, right? You're talking about 360 bucks in an hour. That's That's good. That's really, really good. Um, if you have someone working in the window, someone cooking, you're able to crack, you know, crank it out. That's that's really, really, really good. Um, and then, you know, in four hours, you've made your two grand and you're gone. And that's where that's where you should be. If we're talking about where you should be, you should be. That's where you should be. 360 an hour. Shoot for it. You know, but once again, you got to be fast. If you know, and if you're fresh made to order stuff, have that person in the window you know, calling you out those orders that way, especially similar orders. So you can fry an extra thing of fries or whatever. So, and another, we went over, you know, menu, make sure you go back, watch the menu items. Your stuff should be simple. The more complicated your menu, the longer it takes and the less people you can serve. And you need to compensate for that. If you're doing all fresh stuff, all your ticket made, you need, you may need to increase your average ticket cost to 15 bucks, right? So you may need to increase your prices. If you're in a market that won't handle the 15 buck ticket, then you need to be really fast with the 12 buck ticket. Nightclubs. Let's talk about nightclubs. Uh, Cause it's technically an event. They have events at nightclubs and the nightclub itself is kind of an event. People go in there to, to do their thing. They're not going there to shop or listen. They're going to dance and have a good time. Just like at a sporting event or a concert. So, Tons of people, not as many people as like a concert or a conference per se, where they're renting out this, you know, this, you know, 30,000 square foot place, um, but still tons of people, more liberal spenders, especially if they've had a little, little eggnog, they're going to be more liberal um, with the spending. So, and be more willing to buy food for their friends and everyone that has helped them have a good time that evening. So more liberal spendings, once again, have quick hand carry food. Hungry people, limited options. If it's a nightclub, it's what? At night, nightclub, uh, duh. So it's 2 a.m. Just kidding. It's 2 a.m. They don't have a whole lot of options. So you are the option, right? You and Taco Bell. And I'm sure you're going to be remarkably better. Nothing against Taco Bell. So hungry people, limited options. Once again, bathroom. So a lot of times there's these bathroom walls. You have to be 200 feet or whatever, 150 yards or, or however. Um, so that, re- that meets that requirement because you can, you know, the nightclub has bathrooms and you're parked at the nightclub. So hungry people, limited options. Um, and I, I just want to talk about branding. If you're at the nightclub, I wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't do nightclubs if I'm trying to CEO, you know, the, the food truck, the game, you know, if I'm trying to have five trucks, I wouldn't want personally, I wouldn't want my trucks. You know, you don't see the Chick-fil-A parked in front of the nightclub, um, in their parking lot, you know, staying open to serve their patrons. Um, not all money is good money. Um, and it's not good if I can make, you know, 3000 at the nightclub, an extra thousand bucks, but it's hindering me from having five trucks because that's my brand is associated with nightclubs. Unless I'm going to do the nightclub scene, unless I'm the nightclub guy, you know, I'm parking all of my trucks in front of the nightclub and now I'm the nightclub guy, you know, Hey man, when you come out of dreams or juicy fruit, there's, you know, Bob's burgers. I keep using burgers, you know, or, or, you know, Linda's, you know, street tacos in front of the, the, the joint. And then, you know, any club you go to the club isn't legit unless there's a Linda's street taco place. So I guess you can play that angle as well. Anyway, I'm out of here. That's my uh, video for today. Share with friends. Make sure you download your free forever success in food trucks guide downloadable from foreverfoodtrucks.com. There's a comprehensive guide explaining startup costs, average income, setting margins, investing money, branding, wealth generation, training staff, and more. Whether you've had a food truck for 20 years or are considering getting into the food truck business, you do not want to miss out on this powerful resource. And for those who want to get go even deeper go to teachable.com and check out my online course we'll teach you how to make 20 times the profits how to 20 extra income and grow 20 times faster as an advanced look at the food truck business profits and how to shore up success either way be sure to grab your free absolutely free 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 that was the 18 wheeler or i don't know a clown horn but make sure you grab your free forever success in food trucks guide at foreverfoodtrucks.com see you in the next one